But let's start with news from Afghanistan, where the Taliban has launched coordinated attacks on the northern city of Kunduz. They surrounded it from four directions and made it to the city centre. Now, the assault comes a day before President Ashraf Ghani is due to meet world powers at a major donor conference in Brussels. Let's go live to our correspondent, Jennifer Glass, who's in the capital, Kabul. Um, what is the situation now with regard to Taliban positions in Kunduz? Well, Martin, the Taliban are fighting in the city itself. Witnesses there say they've heard explosions and gunfire. It'll be particularly difficult to dislodge them because we understand they have taken up positions inside civilian homes. There are Taliban sympathizers in Kunduz city itself, and that will make it difficult. Apparently, the police and security forces there are having difficulty distinguishing where exactly the fire is coming from because the Taliban have taken up positions inside the city. We understand the streets are fairly quiet. Shops are closed there. This overnight assault, as you said, Martine, from four directions, coming as a surprise to Afghans in Kundu city and coming just two days before that international donors conference uh, in Europe, where uh, the international community is expected to pledge billions of dollars for Afghanistan's future. Now, last time, a, a year ago or so, the Taliban uh, took Kunduz. They held on to it for a, a few days and then left. Is this merely a show of force, do you think, or do you think that the Taliban may have plans to try to hold the territory? Well, we are hearing from government officials that the Taliban actually say they went into Kunduz city because they are unhappy with Afghan special force activities in two different districts up in Kunduz, in Archie and in Aktaj up there. Afghan special forces apparently fighting very heavily against the Taliban there. The Taliban have been present in many of the areas around Kunduz city since they took Kunduz city for a few days last year. Now, that takeover of Kunduz city, Martin, had a very lasting effect. Effect. Thousands of people fled and many did not come back for many months. Some did not go back at all. And the Taliban not only attacking in Kunduz city, but in the south as well. So Kunduz in the north and in Nawa, in Helmand province in the south, they have captured Nawa district, killing the police uh, chief there. So this does seem like a show of force uh, by the Taliban, and of course, coming just before that international conference uh, in Europe. Thank you very much, Jennifer Glass, live in Kabul.